true slime molds are among the most interesting organisms for general biology. They have the most complicated life cycle. What is usually studied is the so-called plasmodial stage. In Physarum polysphalum, an American species, the plasmodia may grow to almost unlimited size. The largest one recorded was more than 6 square meters. Plasmodia are used for experiments in cell biology by more than 40 laboratories the world over. A plasmodium can be considered a single cell for most experimental purposes. Everything inside the cell is biochemically synchronous. At 27 degrees Celsius, the cell cycle lasts about 640 minutes. There are millions of tiny nuclei, but all are synchronized. You see herophyserum grown upon wheat grains. It then develops, like a nature in a fractal pattern with hollow veins. On nutrient agar it will form a solid disk with gel-like veins inside. The wall of each vein is also semi-solid, in the center more fluid cytoplasm streams from the back towards the front, then after some time, the flow reverse. The rhythmic pattern is similar to a sine, or cosine wave. The streaming secures the remixing of all cytoplasmatic contents inside the plasmodium which is a prerequisite for true synchrony. You cannot see these oscillations just by looking at a plasmodium, your brain will not understand it. But by time-lapse techniques the pattern is evident. Each period is about one minute, during which also the pH of the plasmodium changes, causing slight rhythmic color changes.